in this unit we are going to create a SWOT project for Cedar Creek watershed in Indiana. Before we begin let's make sure we have all the data that we need. The data set that is provided to us includes Cedar, Cedar underscore DEM. This is a raster data set containing elevation information in T format. So this is a digital elevation model for Cedar Creek. The next data set that we have is cedar underscore LU. So this is the land use data set for Cedar Creek watershed again in T format. So this is 2011 NLCD data set. The next data set that we have is cedar underscore outlet dot SHP. So this is a shape file containing outlet location for Cedar Creek watershed. Next we have cedar underscore soil. This is a start score 2 data set also in TIFF format. Next we have a CSV file LUC underscore NLCD 2011. This is a CSV file that includes the land use labels and their description used in 2011 NLCD data set. Finally, we have this SWAT US Sergo Soils database. This is a Microsoft Access database that SWAT will use to process soil information. Even though we are using StartsGo dataset, we are using this MDB file that says Sergo. So this works both with Sergo and StartsGo. So this should not be a problem. And you can get this database from SWAT website. Before we begin, we want to make sure that this database is stored inside SWAT editor. So when you install QSWAT, you should have a folder called SWAT editor inside this SWAT folder. So in this case, this is in C drive, C SWAT, SWAT editor, and then there is this databases folder. So let's go ahead and copy the soils database inside the databases folder here. So we'll copy control C and paste. You also want to make sure that SWAT editor is installed. So sometimes when you install QSWAT, SWAT editor may not get installed. So you will have to again download SWAT editor from the SWAT website and install it on your machine. So we have everything that we need. So let's go ahead and open QGIS. So I'm just going to type QGIS here. We are using QGIS 3.18. This is how a QGIS project will look. Now, depending on whether you have used QSWAT before or not, you may not see this QSWAT button here. So if you don't see it, what you can do is you can go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And then you click on installed and you will see QSWAT 3.64. So this is a 64-bit machine, so that's why you see QSWAT 3.64. If you have a 32-bit machine, you will see QSWAT 3, and this will be unchecked if you don't see QSWAT button on your QSWAT project. So if this is unchecked, you will check this button, say close, and then you will see this QSWAT button. Before we create our QSWAT project, let's make sure that all our data sets align and they have the same projection. To add layers, you go to layer, add layer, add raster layer. So we will add the DEM, hit the control button, select cedar underscore LU, cedar underscore soil and open add and you will see that all of them have UTM zone 16 north okay and we can also add the outlet point 
and make sure that it also has the same projection. Okay, so this is our soil data set which looks blank because of this vast range that you see in that data set so we will uncheck that and this is our land use and this is our topography and the outlet point here so all of them align and they have the same projection system so now that is confirmed so let's go ahead and create a SWOT project you can drag this to the center if you want we want to create a new project and do you want to save the current project so you can discard and we are going to name our project as cedar underscore SWAT save So we just created an empty project. Let's go ahead and see the changes that are made in our folder. So we have cedar underscore SWAT folder created and this is our cedar underscore SWAT QGIS project. If you double click on cedar underscore SWAT folder, you will see three folders, scenarios, source, watershed, you will also see a Microsoft Access database called cedar underscore SWAT, same name that we gave to our project. And then we have QSWAT reference 2012. So these are all the folders that are created. And as we execute our SWAT project, as we create new files and new information, all of that will be stored here. So for example, if I click on watershed, you will see grid. So this is where all the gridded data will be stored. So for example, when we run the stream network delineation, the flow direction grid, flow accumulation grid, all that information is stored inside grid. Shapes will store all the shape files. Tables will store all the tables. Text will store all the text information or text files. So this is how the structure looks like when you create an empty SWOT project and then all these folders and files are populated as we continue with our project. So this is it for this unit. In the next unit, we will start watershed delineation and this is the step one in creating a SWOT project. So save your project and in the next unit, we will look at delineating watershed using QSWAT.